Relative calm hangs over the southern Lebanese city of Sidon after the armed deployment of a very controversial Salafist cleric, Ahmed al-Asir, and his supporters several days ago. Al-Asir, who had been threatening to break into apartments said to be owned by the Lebanese resistance movement, Hezbollah, in the city, was expected to stage an indefinite sit-in in front of a Shia mosque there, known as Mujamma al-Zahra. Mujamma Zahra Simam, Sheikh Hafif Nabulsi, responded by vowing that no one will be forced out of the city. This city has always been a model for coexistence among Sunnis and Shia, Muslims and Christians. It seems that some are campaigning against us as if they were campaigning against Israel. We are not going anywhere. Instead, we will continue to coexist with our brothers in this city and we will fight together against our utmost enemy, Israel. In a preemptive measure to contain this escalation, which was considered to be of a sectarian nature, Lebanon's security forces and army were heavily deployed in the city. Meanwhile, several press conferences were also held inside him by religious clerics and lawmakers to condemn what they described as the attempt of some to instigate strife following suspicious agendas. These provocations we are witnessing in Seydoun, Tripoli and in some border regions are a direct attempt to instigate a strife and the future movement in Lebanon is the one benefiting the most from all of this. This man does not represent the Sunni sect, he represents the U.S. Zionist project, which is now trying to import the so-called Al-Nusra Front from Syria into Lebanon to thus ensure Israel's security. But we will not accept that the resistance city of Sidon becomes the back door the Americans and the Israelis fight the resistance through. In a recent televised speech, Hezbollah Secretary General Said Hassan Nasrallah warned of sectarian tensions, stressing that some are pushing for a Sunni Shia strife in the country and called for prompt action to prevent history from repeating itself. Back in November 2012, LSE opposed the hanging of pictures of Hezbollah martyrs who were killed by Israel and banners related to the Shia community's mourning of the martyrdom anniversary of the third Shia Imam on a day known as Ashura. As a result, armed clashes broke out claiming the lives of three people and injuring at least eight others. Unprecedented security measures were taken in the southern portal city of Sidon in attempts to contain any sort of provocation that could lead to a nationwide conflict. The city's lawmakers and dignitaries have stated that this phenomenon was not spontaneous. They say that certain foreign countries have orchestrated this plot in an attempt to isolate the resistance from within. Meanwhile, the locals here say they are paying a very high price as well. Altaf Ahmed Press TV, Saida, South Lebanon.